So good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Big waves out there. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So good to see everybody. So much fun watching all the excitement this weekend with our incredible athletes out there and just really great job. Congratulations to Billy and Andrea and Todd. You guys all rocked it. And I love my favorite part about that was that Melissa and Andrew went out there and were cheering them on. And that was fun to watch. So just love this community and these beautiful humans that we get to be a part of. So today we have a special word and coach is traveling. So you're getting me this morning. I guess you probably already noticed that, um, but you're getting me this morning. And the word today is relevant. And, you know, we hear that a lot, especially I feel like the younger folks talk about being relevant. Is that relevant? Maybe just because I'm in a home full of teenagers, but I hear this a lot, but, you know, hadn't really spent too much time thinking about what does it mean? Um, so it's an adjective and it means closely connected or appropriate to what is being done or considered and appropriate to the current time period or circumstances of contemporary interest. Um, so being different, okay, so the, a quote, some quotes that I found, being different may get you noticed, but being amazingly relevant to specific people with specific problems will get you business. And I'll tell you, that's what I'm looking for. I want to be relevant in my kids' lives. I want to be relevant in church, but I sure love that quote about being relevant in business because that's what feeds us. Um, but as Bono says, it's much harder to be relevant than it is to be successful. And you know, one of the things that I read was that relevance is the only job security that exists in today's uncertain business world. And I, where I see this is yogurt shops. Have you guys ever noticed, like with your dessert choices these days, and y'all know I'm an eater, so this might be just an Andrea notice, but how fancy like ice cream has got. Yeah. Like you can go to yogurt island, yogurt, whatever they are, and you go and you pull down, you get your little yogurt and you walk out of there for like eight bucks if you don't go crazy, right? But then- there's all these places like Rollies in downtown Florence, where literally, if I take my children there, it's going to be $28. And it's, I don't even know what they do. Some fancy rolled up freeze dried. I don't even know. It's whatever it is. And then there was a place like there's these milkshake bars. So there's all this like crazy kind of overpriced, in my opinion, ice cream, right? But the reason they're doing that is because they were trying to be relevant. They're trying to get into some kind of niche where we'll say, I really want to spend $30 on ice cream tonight and I cannot live without it. And, you know, trying to keep that relevance where people will keep coming is, is pretty um, difficult, I feel like, in these world, in this world today. So being relevant is so important, but it implies that you know, we all have different things in our life that feel relevant in that moment, right? Like if you have, well, as we've talked about flat tires the other day, if you get a flat tire, that feels like the most relevant thing in that moment, but really that's more important. It's kind of that small moment that kind of can push us through our day, but to be relevant in action or a person needs to connect to the bigger picture the grander plan, right? So instead of just being important in that moment, that one second, our goal is to try to become relevant in that grand picture. Um, so how? How does Andrea Rosser become more relevant in this world that's got a million distractions and a million things that are more important and a million things that we can focus on? So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Maybe. Maddie wants to be relevant. Hold on. Hey, I'm sitting here holding my breath, just hoping Dolly Ray don't tear out with a bark too. So it's not just uh, Maddie, Dolly Ray. I'm just on pins and needles with her too. So, oh my goodness. Well, Maddie wanted to speak up and she's got a lot to say, so we're going to hold her. Um, but anyway, so first of all, be more authentic. So I think about Dr. Crystal Vance, you guys have probably heard me talk about this before, where she says, be your own flavor of ice cream. Like there are 31 flavors, has 31 flavors for a reason. 
everybody likes something a little bit different. And even if you're kind of like me and you might be a little vanilla, well, there's a lot of people that like vanilla, right? So be who you are, be authentic, and that will allow you to be more relevant. Two, achieve more mastery. So the more knowledge that we obtain, the more knowledgeable we become, the bigger difference we can actually make, which will make us more relevant. And then be more empathetic. Okay, so fight, fight to understand where people are coming from, what they're going through, and see how you can help in a variety of ways. Take more, number four, take more action. So do the work, right? Rescue the dog. This one's not a rescue, but rescue the dog. Volunteer, like actually do what you're led to do. Take that action. Instead of just seeing the problem, and then turning and walking away, right? I know I've so, I'm so guilty of that. And then lastly, bring more value to more people. The more value we bring, the more people we can help, the more relevant we become to a greater group of people. So that's what I've got today. Thank you guys so much, Myra, it's all yours. Hey, thank you, Andrea. And, you know, first of all, I wanna piggyback on what Andrea said. Wow, congratulations, Billy and Andrea and Todd. And then uh, the Jackson, the Action Jacksons uh, going and supporting. How wonderful is that? So congratulations. It was really cool to watch you guys through this process. And hey, let's talk about relevant. Andrea Rosser is absolutely the most relevant person on our Coach's Corner family. I don't know what Brent and I would do without her. So Andrea, as always, when we throw a curve at you, you always step up and do a fantastic job. So thank you in everything that you do. Something's relevant if it's appropriate or connected to the matter at hand. You know, relevant, relevant things are helpful and they're on point. You've heard that, I know Andrea talked about with her kids and the terminology that she hears, you hear their own point. What that means is, is spot on. Relevant things are appropriate and make sense at the particular time. Uh, you know, here, here are a few ways I'm gonna give you a, uh, hopefully I don't duplicate what Andrea had to say, to use relevant just in a sentence, okay? Because the job applicant's experience was not relevant to the position, we will not make a job offer. That's pretty black and white, cut and dry on just using the word relevant in a sentence. So how does or what does it mean to stay relevant? And one of the things, which was very amazing to me, it was actually amusing, it said, well, it kind of means remaining popular. So, you know, I think that's kind of a broad explanation of that, but I thought that was interesting that that was out there. So what makes something relevant? It means being the kind of person or whom, with whom others depend upon for leadership, expertise, or even emotional support. So if you, your company, your team are relevant and you want to remain relevant, you got to do the following. Stay energized. Everybody wants to be a part of people that are energetic. So you got to watch those people, learn from those people, draw from those people, stay energized. Also, we got to be innovative. You got to work to be innovative. You can't just sit on the same old, same old. You got to work. You got to look for things to stay innovative. Keep things fresh. Oh my gosh, in my world, if we don't keep things fresh with these kids and coaches, we're behind. I mean, you've got to be fresh in your approach. Again, it goes back to look and be innovative. Look for ways to step out in front and lead. Never, ever, ever be content. Always be looking for the next trend. And you're not going to find the next trend if you're sitting in the moment right now, just today, what's going on in the world. You got to look out in front. You got to look ahead. Think crazy. Think big. Think huge ideas that you think, well, they'll think I'm crazy. Well, you know what? If, if you're saying that to yourself, they might think you're crazy, but I'd be willing to bet that you will become even more relevant than you are right now if you step out of that comfort zone and go do it. You know, listen to your trusted friends and your team members. 
talk to them about what they see, what ideas they have, and what needs to be changed. You know, in order for us to stay relevant, we can't have the idea that we make no mistakes, that we know everything. We have to take advice from people all around us and see if it fits us in our niche. So be willing to circle yourself up with those people. Constantly self-evaluate. You have to, I know we were talking about, look in the mirror. How can I improve individually? If I want to be relevant or if I want to remain at relevant, I got to self-evaluate. Well, Myra, you didn't do this so good. This isn't working. You need to swallow your pride. Let's do something else. Look at Andrea over here, what she's doing. Look how successful that is. Look at Arlene, what she's doing. You know, look at Randy. Look what they're doing. Pick people's brain because it's going to only help you to engage and get better in your relevancy with everybody you come across. And also understand that to stay relevant, we can't do it by ourselves. I think that's one of the biggest points I want to leave with you today is in order for us to be relevant or work to be even more relevant is we can't do it by ourselves. So be willing to lean on others to be the best that you can be each and every day. So want to be relevant? I know I do. So today I'm going to seek out somebody to watch that I can learn from. I want to be a sponge and see what the next thing is that I need to know. So y'all got, gosh, it's great to see you. Have a great day. Uh, as always, Andrea, it's always great to get on here with you as well. And, uh, all, and thank you for all that you do. I know I call her the glue, but I wanted to point out today how relevant she is to the success of this platform. So everybody have a great day. Love y'all. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Have a beautiful week. Can't wait to see y'all back tomorrow. Bye, Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, everyone.